So um, in this example, ladies and gentlemen, what we have is in this example, we have 5 times the square root of 50. Now, Ryan, what we talked about in this class was when you're multiplying, the main important thing that you're going to want to do is simplify before you multiply. Okay? So if you guys go and take that to heart, if you go ahead and simplify before you multiply, basically what you're going to do is I can't, take, I can't simplify 5. I can't break it down. That is a prime number. However, if I look at 50, I realize I can break down 50 as square root of 5 times the square root. This can be broken into 5 times 10, which can be broken into 5 times 2. So that would be 5 times 5 times 2. Now I see that when I'm taking the square root, I can only take the square root of a number multiplied by itself. So now I have the square root of 5 times 5 square root of 2, because the square root of 5 times 5 is 5. Now remember what multiplication, what we said with multiplication, as long as the roots are the same, these are both square roots, I can simply multiply the numbers on the inside and numbers on the outside. Well, here I only have a 5, so I'm going to have 5 times the square root of 10.